Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am now going to do an unboxing on this Top Test combustible gas leak detector. I actually needed one of these. Uh, as a home inspector, on occasion, I'll walk by a gas meter and I'll get a smell of gas. And then sometimes inspecting furnaces or water heaters, I'll get the same thing. Very rarely it happens, but it does. I'm always like, hmm, it'd be kind of cool right now if I had a gas leak detector. So I started doing some research, saw this one online. I got this on Amazon for $39.99, very reasonably priced. I was like, that's an easy purchase decision to make, so let's just do it. So I am going to test this in my own kitchen. First things first, let's open the box. Uh, it tells you everything about it. It's got a picture of the actual model right there. Easy to read screen, low, mid, high sensitivity. And we got 50 to uh, 10,000 ppm, uh, low battery indicator, 10 millimeter auto off, I'm sorry, 10 minute auto off, uh, visual and audible alert, press to mute. So right away you can see it comes with its own case right here, which is always handy, especially working in the field. Nicely packaged, this is pretty cool. And it comes with Duracells, I'm impressed doesn't have those cheap, cheap batteries. These are actually good. Okay, full disclosure, I am not being paid to uh, talk about this device right here. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way. So um, this is a little shout out to Top Tests. If you're out there and you're looking for someone to promote your products, let me know. I'll be willing to check it out and give it a try. It tells me they really care about what they're selling here. They're giving you some good uh, batteries to put in it. So what I need to do here to get the batteries in is get a little Phillips head screwdriver. So Okay, so I got a screwdriver. As you can see, it's a very small one. Phillips head, of course. The screw has to come all the way out. To open the door. Boom. Battery is pretty self-explanatory, everybody. Let's put the cover back on. Bam. Okay, so here's the manual. Let's uh, start reading. The first thing it says, attention. Caution sign. Please allow 30 seconds of warm-up before the operation. Otherwise, it won't work properly. So I guess we have to listen to that and follow that instruction. Let's turn it on. Uh, we've got a power button right here. These are our settings. We got low, mid, and high. We got the, uh, the audible you can turn on or off. And this looks like an auto off switch right here. So let's hit turn it on, see what happens. Let's get out there in the kitchen and give this thing a try. I wanna first check for a gas leak at the uh, shutoff valve that connects the range to the, uh, the wall connection. If you're doing this, you gotta be really careful because you gotta be, you gotta check and see how long your, ga your flexible gas line is. You don't wanna yank it out and break that off and now you get a major gas leak. So you gotta be really careful doing this. And I've unplugged it from the wall because I don't want I don't want the flames to ignite when I'm testing the gas. I just want to see if there's a gas leak only. So this right here is my shutoff valve for my gas range. So I want to check this area first to see if there's any kind of leaks here. Then I'm going to work my way towards the range. Hopefully I can isolate this problem. Okay, we're ready. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put this on high setting. So let's get in there and take a look, see if that valve down there is leaking. So far, so good. The valve does not seem to be leaking. Okay, so now I'm checking all the fittings right at the back of the range. No, no, no indication of leaks here at all on the back. Okay, so now we're gonna check around the burners. Okay, so I'm not getting any indicators that this thing is leaking. So let's turn on the gas and see if this thing actually responds. Okay, 
Okay, so we know this works. As soon as I turned the gas on, it picked it up right away. So I don't believe I have a leak here with this range on top or behind. I'm gonna check one more area and that's inside the oven. Okay, so we still got our detector on. Let's go ahead and see if we can find something in here. Okay, now that I finished checking the range in the oven, let's go check the gas meter right outside. Okay, the LED is kind of hard to read in the daylight, so let's see what we can get. Okay, great, no gas leaks at the gas meter. Okay, here's my 12-year-old water heater. Let's see if that's got any leaks. Okay, I'm reaching way in the back now to check the shutoff valve area. Okay, no leaks on the water heater. Okay, here's my Mr. Goodman furnace in the attic. We have our gas leak detector turned on. Let's see if we got any leaks. First place we'll check is here. Now let's check over here. How do you like that? I actually have a drip leg on my gas line, otherwise known as a sediment trap. Most houses I inspect do not have this. If you don't have one, get one. But anyway, back to the leak detecting, uh, I don't sense any leaks anywhere. That's good news. My house appears to be pretty safe and gas leak free. Not a lot of information here. You get care instructions and stuff like that. But as far as the uh, actual detector goes, I like it. Um, I just checked, um, let's see, my range, my oven, all the connections, the gas meter outside, my water heater, and I went up in the attic and checked my furnace too. I didn't detect any leaks, but I did show you that I tested it on the range when I turned the gas on to show you it does actually pick up gas. So it does work. It's easy to use. This extension here is really easy to move around. And when you're done, you just kind of twirl it back up and you can put it right back in the case. I do like this product. It feels like it's high quality in your hand. It doesn't feel cheap at all. So I definitely recommend this. Number one reason I'm really going to recommend this is because of the price. This thing is so fairly priced at $39.99. I'm going to put the link in the description below so you can order this on uh, Amazon like I did. And uh, I suggest you get one because I am now going to add this to my toolbox that's in my van. I should say my tool bag that's in my van. It's going to be part of my everyday thing. So if I have a reason to use it, I'm going to pull it out just like any other tool. Here is the model number right here. That's PT520A, combustible gas leak detector. Check it out.